Nice guys, so we are all in. First, I want to introduce myself. My name is Jess Palmer. I'm the owner of the Yogic Body Studio where you guys see me here and now for class. It feels so different without you guys here, but um, thank you for moving with me as we come on into online classes. This is just a glimpse. Keep in mind that with online yoga, and I teach on YouTube as well, so this is my comfort zone, but when, um, when you as a student have your, your at-home practice online, it's easy to feel like, again, just as if you were in studio, like you have to keep up with the you know, pretzel shapes that somebody makes across the screen from you. Um, don't feel like you need to keep up with anything. Know your limitations. So, for example, any issues you might have with your ankles, with shoulders, with low back pain, honor it here in practice today. And remember that there are modifications, right? So I'm gonna walk you through those as best as I can. But first, let's begin here just in an easy seated pose. Palms face up atop your knees. Just join me as we close our eyes down. Up inhale, chest and belly rise. And then exhale out, noticing as your shoulders just begin to droop here and drop. You can even drop chin to chest. Let's begin practice here. Remembering again, of course, in any yoga class that we're honoring any physical limitations we have. And remembering maybe in this very uh, moment of time, right? This moment that feels a bit new, chaotic. Maybe like we're on the edge of really understanding our present situation where life feels a little turned upside down. Just breathing into that here, a deep breath in. And an exhale out. Taking again the deepest round of breath you've taken all day. Maybe exhale, let it go with a little noise. So making it your mission here in class today as we sit again for just a quiet moment here in our easy seated pose with our eyes closed. Making it your mission to see if you can breathe fully into this space of the unknown. So not giving in fully to panic, to chaos. Seeing if you can find stillness, even in the unease, right? Join me here with another deep breath in and a complete breath out. Placing now your palms face up atop your knees if they weren't already. And join me here, we're just going to place on both palms, thumb finger to pointer, an inhale in, and an exhale out, open your palms. And we'll do that for each of our four fingers here as our thumb touches both of them. So an inhale, our fingers touch, an exhale, open your palms. Just taking four rounds of deep breath here to begin. So an inhale in, palms open, an exhale out, sigh it out. An inhale in as thumb, finger, and pointer come to me. Exhale, open your palms. Inhale, thumb and middle finger meet. Exhale, open your palms. An inhale, thumb, ring, finger meet. Exhale, open. An inhale, thumb and pinky finger come to meet. Inhale. Exhale, open. Biggest inhale you've taken all day, palms open. Exhale. And join me, yogis, as you inhale now, raise your palms up high overhead, option to look overhead as well. Palms come to touch here at the top and draw them down now through forehead or chest center. Shoulders come down your back here, proud chest forward, tuck your chin to neutral. Take a deep breath in and exhale as your palms interlace, push toward me, palms open. Inhale, reach, look up. Exhale, release, palms meet at your low back. Palms interlace here at your low back. Inhale, look up, baby back bend. Exhale, release, palms at heart. We'll do this two more times, settling into our breath, palms at heart, inhale. Exhale, push toward me. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release, palms meet at your low back. Interlace your fingers, look up, baby back bend. 
exhale, release, palms at heart. One more. Stay right where you are, inhale. Exhale, palms interlace, push. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Palms meet at your low back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release, palms at heart. Settling in one more time here to your breath, taking two of the deepest rounds of inhale you've taken all day. Big breath. Complete exhale. And let's get moving here, yogis. So with your palms here at heart center, interlace your hands and take wrist circles to begin. So rocking your palms here in um, semicircles, full circles, a little yoga for the brain, maybe even moving clockwise, counterclockwise. And again, push toward me. Bring your palms back to heart, interlace fingers, rolling out your wrists and push toward me. Bringing your palms back through heart center, um, so no need to interlace your fingers any longer. Palms at heart, diver pose. Reach your palms up high overhead, bending through your elbows here as your palms meet at your upper back. Flaring elbows out, proud chest forward, looking straight ahead, two rounds of deep breath. Opening up through heart space through the front of your chest, relax your thighs, your jaw, a deep breath in. And exhale, palms back up high overhead, down through heart, coming into eagle arms. Goal, post your arms here, out in front. Right arm under left. Now for some, give yourself a big hug here. This is your eagle pose. For others, you might decide to wrap forearms. And for others, you might decide to wrap palms. So wherever you are, elbows up, forearms away. You can even tuck chin to chest. Two deep inhales. Elbows up, one more deep breath in. And exhale, yogis, keep your arms right where they are and tuck your elbows here in toward your chest. So elbows drop toward your hips. Forearms flare down toward the mat, tucking chin to chest. Another breath here. And exhale out. And inhale as you come back through neutral here, shoulders over hips, unwinding your arms as you place right palm at your right hip for a side body stretch. Left arm up high overhead. Now notice here if you can draw your shoulders down your back. So rather than falling forward here, shooting your pelvis forward here and maybe even bending a little further through your right elbow. It's early yet in our practice, so no worries. See if you can just find what's right for your body here. Maybe even if you don't bend your elbow. One deep breath. Option to find movement with me here as we drop now our palm, left palm from right to left atop our mat, back up and high. Exhale, find some movement. Inhale, reach. Maybe even looking back up and around under your left arm in your side body stretch. One more breath, yogis, wherever you are. Stay through the exhale. We'll meet back in a side body stretch. And come on into a twist here. So coming back through neutral and dropping your left palm back behind you. Right palm comes to your left knee. Now, yogis, if you're here in my studio a lot, you know I'm already in your head here, right? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. We're using our back left fingers to gently tug atop the mat as we open up for our twist. So stack shoulders over hips if you notice you're falling too far back or too far forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Soften through neck and jaw, through shoulders. You can let your eyes close down heavy here, taking two inhales. A gentle twist, one more breath in. And exhale as you come back through to center. Before we come into all this love on the opposite side, let's find cat cow. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Baby back bend, shoulders down your back. Exhale, shoulders to ears, chin to chest, fold forward, belly falls back. Inhale, look up. Again, sweet, slow movement here on the mat. Exhale, cat pose like a Halloween cat. Inhale, look up, cow pose. Exhale, fold. 
a perfect time, yogis, to practice your breath here without judgment, right? So an inhale, energetic breath. An exhale. An inhale, look up. An exhale. One more round here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Coming back through to a neutral spine here. Y'all know what to do. Eagle pose. Left arm under right. Option here, give yourself a big hug. Palms either to biceps or to shoulders. Or for some, wrapping forearms and palms. Elbows up, forearms away. Two inhales, chin to chest. Softening through shoulders here. Stop taking that tension with you through every pose. Let it go now. One more breath in. Keeping your arms right where they are as you exhale. Elbows come toward belly button. Forearms flare down toward the mat. Two inhales. How wonderful it is to be here. Feeling this gratitude as we begin to move through our practices. This gratitude that we are in as good of health as we are. And let's keep it that way, yogis. One more breath. Stay through the exhale. And meet me back again in eagle pose. Elbows up. One deep breath. Unwind your palms for your side body stretch. Left palm at your left hip. Right arm up high overhead. Plugging your shoulder down and away. Right shoulder. Proud chest forward. A deep breath in. An exhale out. One more. Option to stay right where you are or move with me here, dropping right palm from left to right atop the mat back up and high. Three rounds of deep breath here. Two more. One more deep breath, any and all movement you need here from your side body stretch and we'll meet back in a static hold, right arm up high, one inhale. Exhale as we come back through to neutral for our twist. Right palm behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. I'm in your head. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Two inhales. Option to close your eyes down or keep a focus here. An easy gaze ahead, your drishti. Softening through neck and jaw. No need to hold tension here. Even through thighs and calves. Let it go. Biggest breath you've taken all day. And exhale as you slowly unwind back through to center. Rocking your head here before some more cat-cow. Rocking your head now from side to side. Shaking your head, yes and no. And if it feels okay, you can even tuck chin to chest. Let your head hang heavy here. You can even drop your chin up overhead. And then find semicircles or full. Maybe even noticing if anybody's working from home a lot that I, I notice I'm carrying so much here in my upper body just being um, over my computer. Or actually I should uh, say it like it is sitting on my couch. There we go. A moment of vulnerability. So join me back at a neutral spine yogis and drop your left ear heavy toward your left shoulder. You can even remove your right palm long at your side like a counterweight here to intensify this gentle stretch. You can also look down toward your shoulder as well. Two rounds of deep breath here, proud chest forward. Again, breathing into this space, right? One more breath in. Both palms come back to your knees. Rock your head here, side to side, forward and back. One more breath. And then drop your head heavy over to the right. Option to remove left palm along at your side. You can also look down toward, as you know, your right shoulder. Shoulders come forward, up and back. Option to let your eyes close down heavy. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Take another breath in. And exhale, both palms back to your knees, rocking and rolling here, dropping your head side to side, forward and back. 
Now, yogis, come on back through to a neutral spine here. Again, palms to your knees. Join me. Uh, I don't know if uh, one of my students is on the live stream here, but I said once like churning butter with our spine, right? The weirdest analogy here, but leave it to a yoga teacher to find a weird analogy. We're going to draw, so like cat cow, we're drawing our chest forward and back. We're going to open up our spine here in a different plane of motion, right? So turning our spine here from um, front, from back, I should say, left, right, maybe even drawing our chest forward, right, back, left, forward, left, back, right. So we're gently coming off one hip as we guide our spine to the opposite side and back. Guiding your spine here over one side and back. The creak of my floor, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Take another breath here. And then come on back through to a neutral spine. Yogi's choice. So whether you find a cat cow, Maybe you find an additional side body stretch. Maybe you're dying for another twist, or maybe you need some more love to the neck here. We're gonna take five rounds of breath as I tell you my favorite thing about yoga. So my favorite thing about yoga, as you continue to move here, if you will, is that we're always in our daily life. We're always folded forward, right? So we're always in a forward fold, whether we're at our steering wheels, our computers, maybe even the work that you do. Our yoga practice opens up our spine here for forward folds, back bends, two planes of motion. It also opens us up for side body stretches here from left to right, another two planes of motion. And we also take a twist here from side to side, an additional two planes of motion. So that's six planes of motion when you're usually just folded forward. So yoga is a beautiful thing here for showing love to our spine. By now, yogis, you've probably taken about five rounds of deep breath, finding that movement here so that you can show some love to your spine, right? And you'll hear dancers, yoga teachers, fitness professionals will say, you're only as young as your spine feels. So continue to join me here. Just two more deep rounds of breath opening up through spine, however you like. So we went pretty heavy on upper body here, right? At the beginning of class. So join me now as you extend your legs long in a wide legged straddle here across your mat. To begin, again, early yet showing some love to the legs. So place your palms wherever you'd like. Thighs, knees, calves, toes, maybe even to the mat. Here's where I'll be. So placing your palms here to the mat. You can walk your palms out as long as you'd like or you can keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. That's where I'll be to begin. Taking two deep rounds of breath. Softening through neck and jaw, another breath in. And if it's in your practice here, yogis, to begin folding, if you're not there already, you can join me doing that. Another two inhales. One more breath in. Come on back through to a neutral spine here for butterfly pose. Soles of your feet come to meet. Palms come atop your ankles. Inhale, look up. Exhale, option to fold. Again, early yet showing love to the hips here, so take it easy. Grounded through the sit bones as knees flare out. Proud chest, shoulders down your back. If you notice here, rather than leading with your chest, you're leading with shoulders. Join me back at a neutral spine. Two inhales more. You can tuck chin to chest, releasing tension here from cervical spine. One more deep breath in. And come on back through again as we stack shoulders over hips, crisscrossing our ankles here for child's pose. Now I know some yogis watching have um, difficulty with ankles, right? So you might decide to stay in butterfly. You might recline back for a reclined butterfly pose as well. Considering here in child's pose, our hips are still doing um, a similar uh, shape, right? Similar movement, so similar function. Drop your knees out to opposite corners of the mat. You can also take your knees together here and sink hips to heels. But again, whichever variation you choose, walk your palms out long, 
drop your forehead down to the mat. And I notice here all the time that I'm still a little crunched up in my low back. So join me here as you raise your gaze, look toward the top of your mat, tent up on your fingertips, elbows, forearms come off the mat. Walk your palms out just a little further than you might usually. You'll notice here maybe your hips uh, come off your heels, just a hair, no worries. Joining me first here as we surrender to our mat, child's pose, taking a deep breath in and an exhale out. Option now to rock your forehead here from side to side atop the mat. You can even bring your palms to touch overhead, bending your elbows for an addition. So with every breath in, notice that your back body expands the um, tops of your shoulders. And with an exhale, you soften to the mat. Your chest grows a little heavier here with breath out. And inhale in. A complete exhale. Releasing your palms to the mat if they were overhead. Looking now toward the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Tenting up on your fingertips as you walk your palms over to the right hand side for a side body stretch. You can come on down to your forearms as well. Come on down to your forehead. Take what you need here, two rounds of deep breath. Another inhale in. And walk your palms back through to center here over to the left hand side. Two rounds of deep breath here. Biggest inhale. Exhale as we come back through to center. And yogis, with your big toes to touch here at the back of your mat, knock your knees out wide and place your palms at the middle of your mat. So we're shifting now hips off heels with our shoulders stacked over our wrists for a little low back opening. Tuck your tail, your pelvis here, your hips up and around making full or semi-circles. Pushing the mat away. Take another two rounds of deep breath here. Any organic movement you need from this pose. And then join me now in tabletop. Walking your palms out just a hair. Big toes fall away from one another and bring your knees here, um, railroad track hands and knees, right? Um, so you've heard me say before, dance like no one's watching, but the, the thing here in yoga is more like cat cow, like no one's watching, right? Certainly not like you're on a Facebook Live. So take your cat cow here, a deep inhale as you look up, an exhale as you fold, an inhale, look up, and an exhale, fold. Inhale, one more. Actively push the mat away, shoulders to ears. Exhale, cat pose. And then joining me back in a neutral spine, take a, a little uh, side body stretch. So drop your hips here over to the left, look toward your right knee. And opposite, same, same on the opposite side. Dropping your hips here to the right, look toward your left knee. One more here, even it out side to side, side body stretch to the right to the left, back through to neutral here as we prepare some love to the toes. So curl your toes under, pushing the mat away, hips to heels. Some yogis you might decide, perfect, plan A right where you are. You might also push atop the mat here, knees come up high to a crouch, and then come on back through tabletop. Uncurl your toes, take ankle circles. We'll take two more just like that. So curl your toes under, hips to heels, plan A. Plan B, knees come off the mat, push the mat away. Back to tabletop. Uncurl your toes, take ankle circles. And then option to take one more with me as you curl your toes under, hips to heels, and plan B, push the mat away, knees come up to a crouch. Come on back through to tabletop, yogis. As you just guide, uh, one palm, so right palm off the mat, wrist circles. Placing right palm back down, left palm, wrist circles. 
and yogis, we're going to come to a forward fold. So if down dog is in your practice, join me as we come to down dog now. Roll over your toes, hips come high. Pedaling out your feet. For any of my yogis who's, um, who have a practice that does not include down dog, join me in a forward fold. We'll be there in just three rounds of deep breath. So yogis, grow heavy through one heel. Bend through the opposite knee. Walking your dog. Take another deep breath here. And join me as you look toward the top of your mat. Tiptoe, step, hop, float. Bringing your feet here to meet your palms. Inhale to a flat spine. Exhale, fold. Opposite palm grabs opposite elbow. Tuck chin to chest. You can even rock your head here. Yes and no. You can sway side to side. Personally, I love to bring my feet hips width distance apart, maybe about two fists width distance. Taking a generous bend in my knees and allow, if you'd like, if you're joining me here, allow your chest to hang heavy over your thighs. Tuck chin to chest, so releasing tension from cervical spine. Maybe lift your toes up off the mat if you feel balanced enough, spread them apart, place them back down. Taking a deep breath here as we decompress through the spine. And an exhale as you drop your palms, hang in ragdoll pose. One more time, Yogi, shake your head yes and no. Maybe sway here. Another breath. And join me now as you push through your feet. Take your time here. No winners at the top, no race to the top as we come to standing. Inhale, crown of the head rises. Palms are the last to rise. Raising your palms up high overhead as they come to touch. Draw them down through forehead or heart center. Standing tall in your mountain pose. Again, starting from the ground up. Guide your toes here up off the mat. Spread them apart. Gently place them back down. So active toes, but we're not gripping on for dear life, right? Take a gentle bend to your knees. Noticing here if you can activate core, whatever that means to you. Shoulders down your back, proud chest, chin to neutral. Option to keep eyes closed or an easy gaze ahead. Two deep rounds of breath and then we're going to get a little movement. One more deep breath in. And then exhale out. Releasing your palms here long at your sides, open your eyes. And we'll take a modified vinyasa. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back, down dog. Two rounds of deep breath here. Another inhale in. Look toward the top of your mat. Exhale, step up, float. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, rise on up, top of the mat, volcano. Exhale, dive on in here for your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. One more just like that. Plant your palms, down dog. Two inhales. Soften through neck and jaw. Walk your dog or find stillness. Another breath in. Look to the top, exhale, step up, float. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise on up. Yogis, that vinyasa exists to you always, or you can add a little more over these next two as we exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. Plant your palms. You can join me, high plank. Option to bring knees down. Elbows curl in. Untuck your toes down to low. Inhale, cobra. Push the mat away. Chest pulls forward. Exhale, roll over your toes, down dog, pedal it out, two inhales. Another deep breath here. And lift to the top as you exhale, step out, float. Half lift, fold, rise. One more yogis will meet in down dog, self-led.
gosh, yogis, I hope this sound of my breath is not killing you now. Take two rounds of deep breath. Another inhale in. Right leg comes up and high back behind you here for three-legged dog, opening up through our hip. We're not gonna take a traditional warrior series. We're just gonna stay close to the ground here. So one more breath here, three-legged dog. And step up for your runner's lunge. So squaring right hip down, right knee comes up in between your palms and step your foot up. I'm gonna drop my back left knee here, placing my palms either to thighs or to the mat, even blocks here to prop you up if you'd like. Gently here, rocking forward, bending deeply into your runner's lunge. For anybody who feels okay to shift back on that back knee, you can also come into a hamstring stretch, folding forward, straightening your front leg. Again, modifying your practice for what you know is best for you. Another breath here. And we'll find lizard pose. Palms come to the instep of your right foot. Heel toe, right toes off the mat. One deep breath in and exhale out. For any of my yogis who want to go deeper, you can curl your back left toes up, raising your knee up off the mat. You can also come down to your forearms as well, depending on how open you feel here for lizard pose. Just two rounds of deep breath. One more breath in. And yogis, you're welcome here just to place your left palm in toward the middle of your mat. And you can place your right knee here, toward your right palm toward your right knee. Gently push away, look up. Another breath. And exhale as you come back through to neutral here. We'll meet back in down dog. Two rounds of deep breath. Another inhale in. And guide now your left leg up and high back behind you, bending through left knee, grow heavy through right heel, three-legged dog. Just one deep breath here. Another inhale. Squaring left hip, step on up for your runner's lunge. Back knee can come down if you'd like. In fact, unless you're taking a crescent lunge, it probably should. And yogis, place again your palms here atop your thigh. Maybe palms here to the mat. Again, we're leading with that proud chest. So take another two rounds of deep breath here. One more breath in. And find now your lizard pose. Both palms at the instep of your left foot. Heel, toe, left toes off the mat. Two rounds of deep breath here, going in as deep as you need. Tuck chin to chest, take one more inhale here. And place now your right palm into the middle of the mat. Left palm, left knee, pushing your knee away as you look up gently. One deep breath. And bring both palms back down to the mat. Join me finding your favorite way to come to down dog. Just one deep breath here in down dog. And look toward the top of your mat as we come to seated. So tiptoe your toes to just the middle of the mat. Back, back, back with me, if you will. Bet, keeping your knees bent here, the soles of your feet. Come up off the mat, your palms, come to your knees, and rock your hips here now from side to side. Option to close your eyes, depending on the surface here that your mat's laid atop. This could be a nice little gentle massage to low back. Another deep breath in. And let's take a gentle spinal twist. So release your left leg long down to the mat. 
right knee over to the left, look toward the right. If you want an additional shoulder stretch, you can always goal post your right arm rather than extending it. Again, option to close your eyes. Now, for me here, my knee, my right knee, certainly doesn't touch the mat or the ground. The thought here is just to keep your right shoulder stamped down to the mat. So join me as we do that, taking two inhales. Coming into half butterfly pose, almost like a reclined tree pose. Slowly unwind. Keep your left leg extended long. Keep your right knee bent and place the sole of your right foot in toward your left thigh. Joining me if you'd like, goal posting your arms overhead. Two inhales. Soften through shoulders, neck and jaw. Another breath in. And Yogi's coming into half happy baby, guiding your palms back toward your right thigh. Plan A, right thigh comes in toward the crux of your arm and sole of your right foot is parallel to the top of the, to the ceiling, right? For some, you might even guide your palm here to the outstep of your right foot. Now, I want you guys to take it easy. This pose is almost as close to my nemesis as a seated forward fold dandasana. So please do, by all means, take whatever feels best for you, even if it's returning to a previous pose. So personally, I've never been very open for happy baby. So I love this half happy baby variation. Take a deep breath in. And yogis, let's come on in to happy baby pose before we come into all that goodness on the opposite side. So plan A, palms can come here to the outstep of your thighs, with your thighs here as close to parallel as you can to the top of the mat, knees come in toward the crux of your arms. For some, you might also guide your palms here toward the outstep of your feet. So meet me in whichever variation you choose. Now for a deep breath in, a complete exhale out. Grounding through low back as low back stamps down to the mat. You can rock here from side to side. You can extend one leg long and then the other. Take a deep breath. And come on back through now with uh, to neutral with your palms to your knees, your knees to touch. Rock side to side, forward and back. Just a deep breath. We'll take another spinal twist now on the left hand side. Extending right leg long. Left bent knee over toward the right. Look to the left, option to goal post left arm or keep it extended, stamping left shoulder down to the mat. Two rounds of deep breath here. Another inhale in. Half butterfly pose like a tree pose from reclined. Sole of your left foot in toward right thigh. Palms at your side, one hand to heart, one to belly, or goal posting overhead, two inhales. Another deep breath here. Half happy baby pose, taking left bent knee in toward your palms, palms atop thigh or foot. Two inhales here. Surrendering and as we do, breathing into this space. Chest and belly rise. One more breath in. Come on into happy baby pose. Just a deep breath, grounding through low back. And now yogi's choice. Any final movement that you need to take before we come into Shavasana, and I highly recommend yogis that you stay till the end of class here where we'll seal our practice together. 
Bring your palms atop your knees. You can rock side to side. You can extend your legs up long. Maybe drop them out in a straddle or a butterfly pose. You can take a twist. This is your time. Just three rounds of deep breath, finding that final movement that you need. Pulling from your yoga toolbox here, that yoga encyclopedia of poses I know you have, even just from class today. Two more rounds of deep breath in. Biggest inhale you've taken all day. And an exhale, let's all meet now in Shavasana. So, releasing your legs long to opposite corners of your mat. Letting your palms rest face up or face down atop your mat at your sides. Bringing your chin to neutral and your breath back to normal. No need to control it any longer. Notice here if you can soften through shoulder, thighs and calves. Settling in now to this quiet moment. If this is your first ever Shavasana, welcome. A moment of silence here, just basking in our practice, the benefits of this mindful movement. Take a deep breath in and let it go. And join me here for Shavasana. Yogis, we've got just a short Shavasana here today. So join me as you bring your awareness back into the room, taking a deep breath in, chest and belly rise. And exhale out as you soften, supported by the mat. Rocking your head now from side to side, left to right. Beginning to wiggle fingers and toes, taking ankle and wrist circles. And join me now as you roll over to your favorite side for fetal pose. Rolling over left or right, bringing bent knees up and in toward bent elbows. Taking this quiet, well-deserved, maybe rare moment here to yourself. Noticing if we can again find this stillness in spite of what may otherwise seem like a distracted time. Softening here through shoulder, through thigh. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. And join me as you use your top palm to gently push you up to an easy seated pose. Facing me, crisscrossing your ankles here. Ending in an easy seated pose just as we began, stacking shoulders over hips, joining me as you take two of the deepest rounds of breath you've taken all day. And let's make some noise here across the world. A deep breath in, and exhale out, make some noise. Another breath in, let me hear you even from here. And an exhale out. Raising your palms up high overhead. Bringing your palms to touch at the top as you draw them down through forehead or heart center. Remembering, as I know many of my students know, your yoga comes with you off the mat. So join me as we continue to take our yoga outside of the classroom off your mat for a more compassionate world. We all know the world needs it now. So thank you, yogis, for joining me here today. From my mat to yours, take very good care.